This is Michelle and Hello. CK. Hi, hi Michelle, my hi Michelle Jason. Hi everybody. Hi. Hi. Hi, welcome to Question Tic Tac Toe. My name is Jason and I have two very successful million dollar round table winners here with me. They are Michelle Hi. and CK. Hi everyone. Michelle and CK, share with us more on when you joined the industry and how long have you been here? So I've been with the industry from uh, 2015. Yeah, so uh, as usual, la, people will always say that pay pain thing, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay, uh, I, was, I was a little bit pay pain thing, like, but uh, generally I was more sick of corporate life. Yeah, so I wanted to have a change. Uh, and I've always enjoyed uh, being like an entrepreneur. And this kind of coincides with what I think will be fun to do. Yeah, so that's why I did a mid career switch. Mm, yeah. All right. For yourself, CK? Um, okay, for myself, right, I have been in the financial industry for about 15 years already. Right. right. I was actually in the bank for 10 over years. Then because of the change in the stage of my family life, right, so that's why I decided to have a step out, you know, to do something that I really enjoy doing, which is advisory. Then, of course, it's also giving me a more con uh, more control in terms of the time management that I want. Mm, yep. Okay, all right. So let me just start off with how we are going to play this game. With me, I actually have a set of questions and each of you will take turns to answer. And after answering each question, you have a chance to put either a circle or X on the board. Okay. So for Michelle, which one would you want to choose? Okay, I'll go for the circle. Circle for you and X for the gentleman. Okay, I'll be the x man. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so let's start with the first question. For Michelle, so do you sell based on commission? Oh, the no-brainer answer will be of course, right? I mean, our remuneration is based on commission. Yeah, so so technically, if you answer the question as a matter of fact, it is yes, we, we sell based on commission. But of course, uh, I also practice holistic planning for my clients. So I believe uh, in ensuring my clients' best interests for their planning. Yeah, certain products and all this which probably pays a little bit more. But I, if I think that this product is still not suitable for my client, I will still sell based on what uh, is good for them. Mm. Yeah. So for all your clients, definitely it's not just the one that pays the best commission that you will just propose to them. It's yeah, something definitely. that will really fit them. Yes, 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 cool. you're right. All right, so you get the choice. Okay, I'll go for the first box. For the first box here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Okay, now, <laughs> is, that your, is that what you wanted? <coughs> yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> now, second question for CK. Yes, a lot of people say that financial advisors earn a lot of money. Is that true? Um, true and not true. I mean, the overall, people who work hard, no matter which industry you're in, you earn money. Right, but of course, uh, nothing comes free. Efforts, task with to put in. I believe CK earns a lot, I think. Nah, I don't say that. <laughs> Can you just give us a gauge, like what do average financial advisors, you know, people who work hard, what do they earn? Mm. People who work hard at being staying focused, I mean, that's a really a key word for this particular industry. Um, they will probably will be ranging about 150 to 200,000 okay. okay. annual, <clears throat> right? Of course, top advisor, like uh, certain people who actually really, you know, have been achieving a lot of awards and all, right? They'll be naturally earning about 300,000 and above. Ah, okay, yep. okay. Now that your chosen spot is gone, which, which one do you want to choose? I'll take the center spot. Center spot. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Now, plan your strategy. Huh? <laughs> Next okay. question for Michelle. All right. So, isn't all insurance the same? Um, I would say all insurance are similar. Yeah. In fact, um, in the industry itself, the, the core products are probably uh, differentiated into six different main types only. Yeah. So, but you see, the thing is that uh, when company A come, comes out with a, a really good product, okay, usually B, C, and D will follow. Yeah, so generally, insurance products can be quite similar. Oh, so there isn't much difference. So 
that doesn't matter which one I get, right? Uh, it does matter because they have minute differences. So um, in this instance, right, it's always good to come to your financial advisor for advice because for us, we are trained in it. So then we will be able to tell uh, which are the differences so that we can break it down simpler, you know, simplify it to our consumers so that they know and then they can make a better decision. Mm, okay, so the important thing is if you are a busy professional, outsource the very difficult part to the professionals who can actually yeah. look into it for you. That's for right. sure, yeah. So your turn, Michelle. Okay, so I will take this spot. This spot, okay. Mm. So what it means is you are just one away from victory. Yeah. yeah. All right. For CK, what's your typical day like? Um, okay, you're talking about now or back in the corporate days? Wow, <laughs> of course now. We now. always focus on now. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So, uh, but I speak a little bit of uh, about back in the corporate days so that I will actually let you, I mean, show you that what are the differences. Okay. Right, back in the corporate days, of course, <clears throat> we still have a flexibility in time. But then again, there are a lot of, uh, you know, um, timeline that we have to achieve and also, you know, a lot of meetings and all. So hence, right, in terms of um, having a more family time, right, uh, that makes it more restri uh, a lot of restrictions. Okay. okay. But after I join here, right, which is I also foresee that, you know, I'm able to control my time better, right? You know, I'm able to actually um, spend a lot, a lot more time with my family, especially with my pair of twin, uh, twins, which is only four years this, uh, four year old this year, uh -huh. right? So uh, my typical day will be like, you know, sending them to school, then of course, fetching them from school. Right, in between at night, I have more time to actually play with them and put them to sleep. Over the weekends, right, if I don't have any appointments, okay, I will give them 101% of time. So, yeah, enjoy doing that. Okay, so you have time for family as well as work and it's a bit more balanced now compared to corporate days. Very much more. Awesome. Now, your turn. Okay, um, of course. Number one, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. So now, okay, Michelle has to start all over again to build your line. Yes. Mm. Oh, okay, Michelle, this is a interesting one. So for a financial advisor, mm. how does your own retirement plan look like? Uh, okay, I was quite thankful because I started my financial planning quite early. Um, so I actually bought my first savings plan when I was 18. Oh. Yeah. So I do have um, multiple payouts also that I'm expecting maybe in the coming years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, and at the same time, I actually want to buy a property okay. in Bali. Wow. Yeah. So I really enjoy Bali because I used to travel there every year. Yeah. So I really want to retire there. Yeah, then thank God I got an Indonesian husband so I can buy a property in Indonesia. Uh, yeah, so I need to block him. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Can you see that? Yes. yes. Okay, now, next question will be for CK. Yes. All okay. right. What is the difference between an insurance agent and financial advisor? Hmm, isn't this the same thing? Um, also, generally, yeah, they are about the same, but of uh -huh. course, there's slight difference. Uh, insurance agent typically they actually only represent one insurer. Okay. Okay. Hence, there are limited uh, products we try right, to actually offer to the clients. Whereas for a financial advisor, they have whole suite of uh, products to to um, offer to the clients. Why is that so? Because they distribute. Um, I would say that you know quite a good number of insurers products. Hence, uh, they are always into a holistic planning in that sense. Mm. Yep. Okay. So if I'm looking into something that suits me really well. I would probably want to check out what different insurers have to offer so that will fit my lifestyle and my goals. Yep, that's right. And also they will actually enhance uh, their job by telling you about what are the pros and cons of each individual single product they have compared for you. Mm, okay. Yeah. Of course, this will be my choice. No, no, on the <laughs> other side. <laughs> Alright, okay. So now we are back to the last few questions. And the next one is, oh, this is for Michelle. What will happen to your client if you are gone one day? Oh, this, this is a very interesting topic because this is something that I constantly talk to my clients about. Yeah, because I have a variety of clients. Of course, they, uh, they are very successful, older generation. And then yet again, I also do planning for the young, younger, you know, fresh graduates as well. Yeah, so, but the thing is that I always encourage them to take empowerment into their own planning because uh, I enforce financial education. Yeah, because um, at the end of the day, I'm a human as well. There is also a chance that I may pass on before they do. Yeah. 
So that is the reason why I try to equip them with financial education in a sense that so that they can take charge of their own planning. Yeah. Okay. So this is a very interesting perspective because yeah. in the past, I, when I was at a, at the age to do financial planning, I kind of outsourced everything to my financial advisor, yes. and I just hope the end of the day. I just get some money back and it doesn't make any <laughs> loss. That's why I thought. So it's important that now you, you guys have to work hand in hand. Yes, yep. yes. Okay. But at the same time also, uh, I mean, if let's say towards those clients who only want to outsource it, uh. okay, I also do work with a team of uh, financial advisors myself. So my, my team is actually very supportive. And uh, in, in my absence, usually my team also supports. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So thankfully, you have a very good and supportive team. Yes. All right. Mm. Now, you have your next choice. Um, here, I guess. <laughs> I, have to, I have to block him off, right? Okay. Mm. Well, hmm. Now it doesn't look like anybody has a winning upper hand. Yeah. True. So we'll just finish off with the last two questions. Okay. Sure. Okay. Now, uh, next question for CK. Yep. Is there really a best product? Uh, technically, I would say no. There's no best product. There's no best Why? product. Because every individual product that they launch, right, actually caters to uh, consumer that suits them. Because every consumer has different kind of uh, risk appetite, yes. have this different kind of uh, goals that they want to achieve, right? Hence, uh, different products cater to different needs and goals. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, CK, you yep. can choose your next towel. I think to have a uh, overall nice uh, picture, I would say that, you know, I'll put here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> now, let me go to the last question for Michelle. So, uh, share one secret that people do not know about financial advisors. Uh, okay. The more you see, the better. Wow. Okay. Maybe uh, this is with regards to one of my recent posts also. I, I, was, I was trying to review my own planning. Okay, uh, as, uh, in order to keep up with my <laughs> retirement planning, right? So I realized that um, this, this is very challenging because sometimes I can do the job for people but doesn't mean that I want to do the job for myself. Uh -huh. mm. So I think one secret for most financial advisors or maybe I speak for myself, mm -hmm. okay? I would think that I, I would really want to have a financial advisor for my own also so that I don't have to do the job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, this can be funny, but I think yes, because sometimes it, when when you just need a third party to point out and give you a clarity. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's really, really, really special that not only you are in a position to uh, serve other people, you are also in need for other uh, other more expert advice yes. when it comes to your own planning also. Yeah, definitely. So financial advisors really do have to keep up with the new trends and new times and yeah, really right. bring them up to new knowledge. Yes, yep, yes right. totally. So with yeah. this, we've come to uh, the last slot and I'm going to okay. help you put it in. <laughs> okay. All right, and this concludes our question tic-tac-toe. And thank you, Michelle, and thank you, CK. Thank, thank you. you.